Here's how to add a timer to your Articulate Storyline project. The timer feature is actually connected to the result slide. So if you don't already have a result slide in your project, you'll need to insert one. And to do that, you just go up to the Insert tab and then click New Slide, choose the Quizzing tab over here at the left, and then choose Result Slides at the top. And you'll see these three different formats here. You can go with whichever one suits your needs the best. And once you select one, you just click Insert down here at the bottom and that'll pop up a window where you can choose some properties for the result slide that you're inserting. And that's where you'll set up your timer. Now, if your result slide is already in place, like mine is, mine's right here, slide 1.4, then to get to that properties window, you just go to your result slide, and then right up here above your trigger panel, you'll click this button that says edit result slide, and the properties window will pop right up. So the first thing here is you'll want to make sure that the results tab is selected at the upper left and at the top you want to choose calculate results for selected questions. And then down here at the bottom is where you can turn on the timer. We just mark this little checkbox to enable it and then we can enter the amount of time that we want to give. I'm going to give our learners one minute in this example. And then right below that we also have a few options. We can start the timer with the first question that's associated with this result slide, or we can apply the timer to the whole course by choosing to start it with the first slide. For my preference, I'm gonna stick with the first question because the first slide in my course is just a title slide, and I really don't want the timer to start until the learner moves on to the actual questions. Then we also have an option down here to choose the format of the timer. We can show how much time has elapsed, or we can show how much time is still left, or if we choose elapsed out of total, we can actually show both. Or if we don't want the timer to even be visible, we can opt to not show the time. Um, if we choose that, the timer will still function and the learner will still get a message if they do happen to run out of time, but the timer itself won't show up on the player anywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and pick elapsed out of total, and then we'll click OK and we'll do a quick preview of this course to see what the timer looks like. Okay, so here's our first slide, and we're not seeing the timer at all on this slide because I chose not to have it start until the first quiz question. So we'll click Next, and then here's our first quiz question, and the timer's gonna show up right up here in the upper right area of the player. And as the timer counts down, you're probably noticing that the little clock icon is giving the learner a nice little graphical indicator of how much time has passed and also how much time is left. So what happens when the time runs out? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and pause my recording here for a second, and I'm gonna come back when the time is up so that you can see what that looks like. Okay, so our time limit is over, and the learner is seeing a message here um, in the middle of the slide. And this message text is something that you can customize to say whatever you want. And when the learner clicks OK, that's gonna clear the message, and they can go through here and submit an answer for the question that they're currently on. So we'll just go ahead and make some selections here and then hit submit. But what will happen is any additional questions that remain unanswered, they'll be able to view those but not submit an answer. So on this question here, you'll notice how you know there's no longer a submit button down here in the lower right. There's only a previous and next button which means I can't submit an answer. I can even select an answer if I try to click on these little choices. Those are no longer available. So really all I can do now is view the slide and then move on. And then when the learner gets to the result slide, any of those unanswered questions are gonna be considered wrong, which is why we're seeing a score of 50% here because there were only two questions in my quiz. I got the first one right and then our timer ran out. So my second question, was unanswered and it was considered incorrect. So that's how the quiz timer works in Articulate Storyline.